was unknown if she would make it to the hospital alive. I actually had to resuscitate her on scene. Um, it was all very unknown of um, the extent of her injuries. I'm so strong, so strong. <laughs> in the PICU, the pediatric ICU, for three months. She literally lost everything due to her brain injury. Basically, the first five days were uh, very iffy. We weren't sure if she would come out of her head injury coma. I can honestly say that I have felt God with us every single step of the way. Somebody was with me. There was a greater purpose and everything was gonna be okay. Shaylee, was one of our first major trauma patients. And it was just an incredible experience. Even though she was injured, um, we were able to take care of her, take care of her family. A team collaborated effort with doctors, nurses, and our family. They were so great and so accommodating and made us feel at home. They didn't make me feel like an outsider looking in. They made me feel um, together, like we were all doing this together. To have a champion like Shaylee, who can just smile and engage and give us all hugs and make us all feel so good. She's always been a kid that loves the limelight. Costco and at Panda Express are all places that we go, so she will be very happy to see her face up on those posters. All the work that they've put in and the love that they've shown this child, now they're gonna get a little bit of that love back, so I'm excited for them. You have to sometimes go through really, really hard things to make yourself strong. She has proven to us over and over that something is happening with this child. She was not meant to die that day. <laughs> That's so good. Thanks, Dr. Teacher. Thank you, one